This is your Daily Med with Lady V. The story of time. Time said I was in the beginning when I was told to start ticking and have been ticking ever since. During my tenure as time, I have seen many great men. I saw Noah overcame the flood. I saw Moses as he part the Red Sea and deliver God's people. I saw Abraham became the father of many nations. I saw David and his people. He brought them to great heights for 40 years and the nation grew sixfold. He was even called a man after God's own heart. But, said time, there is one whose name is Jesus that is unlike any other. I saw him take off immortality and put on mortality. I saw him walk the earth performing miracles of different kinds. I saw him become a ransom for the soul of many so that who ask of him would be saved. I saw him stand before the judge and the judge asked of him, how old were you when you started to study the word? Jesus answered, it depends because on my mother's side, I was 12 years old. On my father's side, I was the beginning. On my mother's side, I studied the word. On my father's side, I am the word. On my mother's side, I drew breath. But on my father's side, I am the breath of life. On my mother's side, I stood under the stars. On my father's side, I am the bright and morning star. On my mother's side, I smelt the flowers. On my father's side, I am the lily of the valley. On my mother's side, I walk through doors. On my father's side, I am the door. On my mother's side, I drunk water. But on my father's side, I am the living water. On my mother's side, I needed light. But on my father's side, I am the light. On my mother's side, I must see death. On my father's side, I am eternal life. On my mother's side, I was 33 years old. On my father's side, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. Then I heard the grave spoke up. Graves said, I have held many since Adam, except two who death could not bring. They were Enoch and Elijah. Oh yes, there was one other who came, but I could not hold him. His name is Jesus. I heard him say, I lay down my life that I might take it up again. No man taketh it from me. He also said he would rise on the third day. Satan stopped by to ask if I still had him, which was really strange because in all this time, I have been holding people. Satan has never asked if I still had anyone. I have held deacons here. I have held preachers here. I have held even kings here. But early one Sunday morning, I discovered why Satan was so concerned. Something started to happen. The rocks started to move and the ground opened up. 
Jesus got up. There was nothing that I could do about it. After he left, I heard him say, All power, all power is given unto me in heaven and on earth. Jesus got up. There was nothing I could do about it. He arose just as he said. Eternity suddenly spoke up and said, I have been around ever before time. Death and the grave. As Jesus was in the beginning, so shall he be through all eternity. Oh yes, the grave forget to tell you that he must release some believers too because it was written in the word of God that the dead in Christ shall rise. As I close, Jesus had made this possible to all those who would accept, to all those who would by faith believe that he is Lord, that he arose, that he is King, that he now sits at the Father's right hand and pleads and makes intercession. Remember, when Jesus Christ died and arose, he not only took away our sins, he took all our excuses. God bless you and thank you.